Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde were a couple that were gunned down. And actually, I'm told that Bonnie and Clyde weren't even the original couple gunned down. Um, the names of the couple that was gunned down were Bonnie and Clyde. Just two people, young people in love, driving along a outside road. And originally, they said it was in Germany or someplace. The CIA or someone had set up a sting operation, gotten a tip off, and was and had gunned down the first came, car that came up a road because supposedly they were supposed to be Bonnie and Clyde or something like that. Um, two outlaws, they said. Um, at first, they died in the car, and and this is what they're telling the American people, by the way, as far as I know. Um, this is what they were telling me, anyway that there were two people driving along and they were gunning people. Um, well, well, at first it was Bonnie and Clyde that was gunning down people in the woods. And the CIA had gone out there and killed them uh, in their car as they tried to escape, had actually like radioed ahead and had gunned them down. Um, they, th this is what they were telling me of Bonnie and Clyde um, as they were trying to escape. They radioed ahead and they got a car in position. They gunned them down with a Tommy gun. Now, Tommy guns weren't exactly standard issue. Those were military or or what's it called weapons. Something I knew about because I had designed and built the government, basically, and had known where all the different guns were. So I said, well, that's not police issue. How would the police have Tommy guns? That's something that only the government carries for combat situations. Um, I think there was just like anti whatever force that I had. So, and also, like I say, most people didn't know that the Tommy gun was actually only government issue. In other words, the civilian people couldn't own it unless they were working for the government. Synonymous with American, with the American government. The only way you got a Tommy gun was through the American government. And in fact, most people didn't even have them. Like I said, it was actually a very rare government that only the American government had and a few other governments around the world. It was popular with other people too, although a lot of other people just used the AK, which was also common. Came out later though. Tommy gun was first, I think, the, with the 100 round clip. Mostly because it didn't jam. It was a very high quality gun. Built, I think, probably in Germany or in Scotland or somewhere. Yeah, I forget. I'm not remembering the exact, the exact details. Anyway though, but I was getting scattered reports about Bonnie and Clyde, and I was like, wait a minute. So, and like I said, Something that's not actually posted in the history that said that basically uh, is an account of the American government and the corruption thereby in is that there was at least one or two couples that were also gunned down that year driving along a road. So, including two men actually. So, it basically threw a lot of doubt into the credibility of the American government, pretty much is what it did. Because, um, you know, the American government was saying, <clears throat> that this outlaw gang was gunned down and and that originally they were gunned down fleeing the scene of, of another shooting. So, um, and it basically looked like people were just gunning down people in the middle of the road and calling themselves American government or something like that. So, and then more reports about how like there was a stakeout or, or, or something else like that and the American government said it was a random search, blah, blah, but... Um, but realistically, the police reports had... There's all kinds of conflicting reports on Bonnie and Clyde. Almost like somebody had just scribbled in information for Bonnie and Clyde. Like I say, when I first... When Bonnie and Clyde first happened, I cracked down on the American government a lot because I was like, well, which is it? It's one or the other. Um, they were one of the classic cases of what the hell is going on. Because the American people were told one thing. I was told something. And I was told, I guess, pretty much what the American people were told, which is basically um, the outlaw. And, and I think many people didn't even know that there was an outlaw game, gang on the run or something like that until it came out in the newspapers. And even Bonnie and Clyde might, might have been like, hey, we're an outlaw gang or whatever. Or, you know, it's hard to say, really, um, exactly the truth behind Bonnie and Clyde. Like, like, they were one of the classic cases of basically corruption or police basically writing in details after the fact. So the American government actually did a lot. And originally, supposedly, Ameri uh, Bonnie and Clyde had actually happened in Sweden, 
they were off somewhere else and you know having had escaped America and were gunned down in Sweden. So the reports that I got were like, what the F? What country were they in exactly? So anyway, and like I said, then reports of other people being gunned down in cars started coming in. Which basically looked more like somebody was just going around gunning down people on cars. So, and it was even worse because the American government or the government was involved and supposedly was responsible. So, they were attacks on the American government credibility or the American government was really doing some very bad things because it was supposedly the CIA or, you know, Hoover or someone, basically. Um, which, some of them were, were actually working for me, so I wondered if it was one group trying to blame another group. So anyway, um, you know, in the end, I was just like, you know what, I don't even care anymore because, like, obviously something has gotten seriously wrong with this civilization society where there's just rampant lies everywhere. And actually, I might have even called in the Chinese or Japanese or one of the other countries to investigate Bonnie and Clyde to find out what the F was going on. And that might have been when I actually got some answers. And actually, I think Bonnie and Clyde might have started out working for me doing factories or doing banks or something like that. Not robbing, but actually building or something. They were a couple that had come to America or something like that. And the original Bonnie and Clyde had actually been working for me and then just been gunned down. Possibly for money or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Like I say, there is so many lies about what happened back then that it's hard to say exactly what did happen back then. Like I say, originally they were only stopped. They were on the run, and then they got a tip off, and they were and they were confirmed coming out of a uh, coming out of so and so, a restaurant or something like that, um, and then or seen in some area. Anyway, it was scattered and basically very bad reporting. I mean, you could get more accurate reports from the news than you could from from the government, or even you know I was being told basically what the news companies were being told. So, well, of course, it happened back in time. But anyway, though, so um, Bonnie and Clyde's situation is highly, highly, highly suspect and was actually probably more like corruption or something else like that or just people just lying. <laughs> so Bonnie and Clyde's situation especially. And they might have been two of, two of my first people that were actually killed or gunned down because they had been working for me doing something else originally. It's hard to say, really. Um, and supposedly the gang that actually killed, it was actually the people that killed Bonnie and Clyde that were actually killing other cars or the actual people that were robbers or something like that. Like, like I say, the story behind Bonnie and Clyde was so scattered and so confused that, that I was just like, you know what, just let them go. They're not doing anything wrong. Obviously this is lies and just corruption or just falsehoods. Because, you know, I've heard too many different sides to Bonnie and Clyde by now. You know, and then it was Bonnie and Clyde that, 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 that had been cornered in a house. And then they shot the, 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 the police, police person. And then there was a reporter that had come to the house or something like that. And I was like, you know what? I don't think that there's anything true about these two people at all. Did they even, was there even two people named Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah. So, and it looked like just like wild, random lies and reporting, you know. So anyway, um, I think at the end of it, I was just like, you know what? They're not, they haven't done anything wrong. I'm going to let them go. I, I actually might have even pardoned pardon them because I was like, there's too many lies coming out about these two people. I mean, they could just be two people that, that had gotten a loan on a car and then lost their car or lost their house or something and gone, whatever. Anyway, so Bonnie and Clyde became two famous people, the f some famous people that, you know, the American government or someone was just lying about just completely. Could have been just a fake story for all I knew, for all anyone knew. So, anyway, yeah. And it would take years, and, and, and I don't think anything is even true at all. It, you know, it goes back to J. Edgar Hoover days and someone trying to make a problem or something like that. I don't really know. So, 
I mean, all I know is that <clears throat> the Tommy guns or the guns used in, in Bonnie and Clyde were only government issue. So.